Hey, greetings travelers, and welcome back to Traveling Guru, where we take an insider look at travel and tourism. And this week, we are off actually on a four-part mini-series on Jamaica. The first thing we're gonna dive into this week is all about Jamaica's overview and the introduction of how do we get there, how do we get around, some of the accommodation overview, and just some really great fun facts that even if you've been there once, I'm confident you're gonna learn something. Well, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you're ready, Hey, I'm ready. Let's go. So our first fun fact is, how do we get to Jamaica? Well, by air, Jamaica has three international airports. The Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay, the Norman Mainly International Airport in Kingston, and the Ian Fleming International Airport in Ocho Rios. All visitors are required to travel with a return ticket or onward ticket to entry into Jamaica. Citizens from the United States must present a valid passport when leaving and or entering the United States and residents must present their alien resident card together with passport of their country of citizenship. Sangster International Airport is the primary point of entry for most tourists. It serves the North Coast resort areas from the Grill to Ocho Rios as well as much of the South Coast. Inside this airport, there is Club Mo Bay. It's a uniquely Jamaican first-class lounge experience. Sanctuary where passengers can escape from the stress of security lines and crowded departure halls. Relax or catch up with the office. The Norman Mainly International Airport, it, it, in addition to serving Kingston, Jamaica's capital city, the Norman Mainly International Airport provides access to Port Antonio and the Blue Mountains. And finally, the Ian Fleming International Airport in Ocho Rios convenient airport to Jamaica's north coast for small aircraft, many of Jamaica's renowned villas and resorts are only minutes away. Let's dive right into the essential information, fast fact, of enjoying Jamaica. Jamaica is the third largest island in the Caribbean, 140 miles long and 51 miles across at its widest point. It is also among the most dramatic in its beauty. Mountainous and verdant with rainforest peaks, deep valleys, and expansive fertile plains along many areas of the coast, rolling mountains and cliffs drop dramatically into the sea, framing lovely coves. About half the land sits 1,000 feet or more above sea level, and Blue Mountain Peak is the highest point at 7,400 feet. Jamaica enjoys a tropical climate characterized by high daytime temperatures hovering in the 80s and 90s year-round, with lower temperatures in the mountains. Northeast trade winds and mountain breezes help keep the climate pleasant along the coast. The island has two rainy seasons, May to June and September to November. Rain typically comes in the form of short tropical afternoon showers. Along with their average uh, rainfall, you can expect sections of the island's western regions get as little as 30 inches. Hurricanes, if they happen, tend to pass over the island between June and September. The currency is the Jamaican dollar and the exchange rate fluctuates daily. Licensed money exchange and commercial banks are accessible in all resort areas and it can pay to shop for the best rate. Most Jamaican ATMs accept international bank cards with Visa, MasterCard, Cyrus, and Plus logos. Banks also give credit card advances. Not so much the traveler's checks as much anymore and they, other, and they offer other financial services. The use, sale, or possession of controlled substances and drugs including marijuana is illegal. Violators are subject to severe punishment, specifically arrest, fine, and imprisonment. Jamaica falls within the Eastern Time Zone and does not observe daylight savings time. At approximately 18 degrees north of the equator, the island falls within the tropics and does not experience drastic seasonal change in sunrise and sunset times. Year-round, the island averages between 11.5 to 12.5 hours of sunlight per day. The official language is English, although many Jamaicans converse using Patois, a colorful dialect full of intriguing phrases that are fun to learn. So how do we get around? Well, the next fast fact of how to enjoy Jamaica. Before arranging for a rental car, I remind my clients Jamaica drives British style on the left side of the road. Rental cars are available at the airports. Reminder, rural roads are often windy, bumpy, narrow, and you might see a few animals too. A valid driver's license is required to rent a vehicle for up to three months, and drivers must be at least 21 years old to rent a car. 
So how long does it take to get to your resort from your airport? Montego Bay to Negril, about 52 miles or an hour and a half. Montego Bay to Ocho Rios, 67 miles, about two hours. Ocho Rios to Port Antonio, 66 miles, it'll take about two and a half hours. Ocho Rios to Kingston, 54 miles, about an hour and a half. And Port Antonio to Kingston, 61 miles in two hours. Let's celebrate Jamaica's fast fact and get into the accommodation overview. One could consider villa rentals. Would you like to see a thatched roof cottage on the beach or a villa nestled into a hillside with a private pool? Would you prefer a secluded setting or a villa within a resort with activities at your doorstep? Is self-cooking a plus or would it be nicer to have a personal chef? And for that matter, a butler and a chauffeur. And if kids are coming, would a certified nanny be helpful? Jamaica pioneered villa vacations in the Caribbean in the 1950s. Today, Jamaica's villas come in an amazing range of prices, levels of luxury, and styles. Like villa rentals, the modern all-inclusive resort has its roots in Jamaica, where sandals, jewels resorts, couples, Sunscape, Resorts, Iberostar, and so many other industry pioneers keep one-upping each other with amenities such as swim-out suites, outdoor showers, and butler and nanny services. And all-inclusive programs and amenities cater to a growing number of special interests. For example, golf is complimentary at resorts such as Sandals, and guests also may enjoy unlimited scuba diving at Sandals and Beaches properties. And for the naturist, Couples Tower Isle has a private island beach, while hedonism, well, they attract the natural section of the resort. One of Jamaica's first boutique properties was the Elegant Round Hill, built on the grounds of a former sugar plantation, where guests have included uh, Noel Coward, Oscar Hammerstein, Grace Kelly, Princess Borghese, Ralph Lauren, and Ryan Gosling. A number of romantic accommodations have evolved along the cliffs of Negril. Here, you will see small boutique cliffside properties such as Rock House with its private thatched roof, air conditioned cottages, treehouse style sunset at the Palms, and the Tin Sing Pin. With its collection of wood, thatch, and stone cottages, each perched around private coves. Among the trendiest boutique accommodations are Chris Blackwell's Island Outpost Hotels, the Caves in the Grill, Golden Eye, Strawberry Hill, and the Blue Mountains overlooking Kingston. Each blends with the environment in a unique way, attracting clientele looking for unobtrusive service and a casual, chic environment. At smaller guest houses and hotels, my clients often trade the air condition and a slew of water sports for a more tranquil, intimate experience of Jamaica. For example, at the 10-room Hotel Mockingbird Hill in Port Antonio, the owners share insight about Jamaica over a daily afternoon tea while Great Hut's Paradise of on the Edge features unique Africa-style huts and treehouse rooms. Jamaica has offered a diverse array of grand, stylish resorts, including the 390-room Half Moon. It's a rock resort with a dolphin lagoon, the equestrian center, and golf course. Hey travelers, thank you very much for joining myself at Traveling Guru bringing you travel and tourism about Jamaica. Hey, I want you to stay tuned because we got some more episodes really deep diving into the beauty that is tourism in Jamaica. Well, thank you very much. Hey, if you haven't already done so, again, please subscribe. And if there's anything that we can do as a travel agency for you, your friends, your family, hey, we'd love to help. All right, well, thank you very much. And hey, we'll see you out there. All right, bye-bye.